Hey you guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Infinite Lock. It's your boy Eric, and today we have another new soloist, but I have seen her before. Um, we have Kwan Umbi. Um, she is from Eyes One. I reacted to Eyes One. I have a couple reactions to Eyes One. Go check my Eyes One playlist. I have dance packs reactions. I have MV reactions. Still got a couple more to get into, but I reacted to a couple Eyes One members. Um, I've reacted to, of course, Wan Young and Yujin, who's a part of IVE now. They're absolutely killing the game on the ride. Probably the hottest fourth gen girl group right now in terms of just like like trending upward. Um, I reacted to Yenna. Um, yeah, I reacted to Yenna solo. The the pop punk Avril Lavigne vibe uh, was very very good. Um, and yeah, again, I was asking you guys about, you know, what are the other members doing? What are the other members doing? I remember you guys telling me that Umbi is a soloist. Um, I always love when, you know, idols get, I don't want to say a second chance because Ice One was supposed to disband. But, you know, it's even though a group is supposed to disband or, you know, it's going to happen, um, it can still it can still hurt. You know what I mean? I'm sure that, that people thought that they would be, they, they were absolutely big, but I feel like they could have been huge if they stayed together. Um, I know you guys are telling me people petitioned to keep them together. Um, and uh, every every member, every member had something about them when, when I started reacting to them. Um, Unbi was no different. Definitely loved her energy um, and what she brought to the group. So, um, yeah, I wanted to do a double reaction to her. She has an MV called Door, and she has an MV called Glitch. Um, so we're going to jump into the MV for door before we get into the video make sure you guys like comment subscribe turn your post notifications on got a lot of stuff coming your way and uh yeah clown MV with door The harmony in the background. Hey. I wasn't expecting this beat drop. Oh, the... This is very groovy. Yeah, this jazz, this funky jazz. Okay. Oh my God, that flexibility is crazy. That that Ariana Grande ponytail is crazy. This look is fire. The hook is so different from the ver from the like verses. She's gorgeous. Hey. Oh, I like her vocal tone here. This conversational ish singing. Very classic retro sound. Come on, background vocals. Hey. Hey. 
Yeah, very elegant jazz era vibes. It's given prohibition era. I think. So that was Kwan Umbi with Door. Um, very, very jazzy, retro, um, but modernized. The looks were were very all the all the glitz and glam um, looks. It, it looked like you know if she, if they would have dropped the uh, you know dropped the mic from the ceiling and she would have been singing on that. Like it was just very, very throwback ish. Um, yeah, again, she, I love, I love when the members of groups get solos and I love when artists are give, are able to go solo, especially when they come from such talented groups as the Eyes One because you don't realize just how talented each member is. Yeah, you get a glimpse, but like I, I reacting to Eyes One, I would not have expected this sound at all from her. Um, maybe it's just because I'm not, I, you know, I didn't see them in real time and really get to know all of the members uh, top to bottom, but I wasn't expecting that funk, that jazziness. Um, again, the retro sound is very, very big in K-pop right now, um, and I just think every time these artists tap into that, they kill it every single time. That was fire. Um, it was, I feel like even if that that's a song where even if that type of style is not your thing it's still easy on the ears to listen to once you get over the shock of the initial chorus because i think that the verses and the chorus don't really match and when i say that it's not a bad thing i just mean that's not really what you expect but once you get into the vibe of the song it's like okay this is a nice listen you know what i mean um i'm typically not really i like funkiness but not all the way like jazzy stuff like that but the song was so solid and well executed that if it came on, I would not be like, oh, let me change this. Like it's very, it's a very smooth ride from start to finish. The the video just made it that much better. She looked amazing. Um, again, her style, her styling team really fit the concept well. The stuff flattered her. Um, yeah, so let's get in the glitch. This is her mo most recent uh, release. Uh, just came out and it's doing pretty good. I mean, it sounds like she's really kicking things off as a soloist. So let's jump into glitch. Okay. These visuals. It's like Tetrisy elevator music type vibe. Okay, tempo. Okay, this might be the one right here. Okay, this falsetto chorus, it's like she's singing in your spine. Ooh. This beat is crazy. Wait a minute. This wet hair look.
I like this look a whole lot. Oh, that was sick. Hey, hey. Like, I would, like, if I was running a fashion show, I would play this as the models walk up and down the, the runway. I'm still trying to pinpoint her style. It's so specific and unique. These runs. Wow. Bro. That was crazy. I wish they would have bought the beat back in one more time, but that was crazy. So that was Umbi with glitch. Um, that that was that was the one right there. I think that was that was one that definitely could find its way on my playlist. Um, again, door was door was fire though. It was well done. Um, I was happy with door. But I just don't know. Again, I told you I like the retro sound a lot, but I, that the jazzy st stuff, if it's too jazzy, I kind of really, uh, it's not really for me. Um, but again, it's just, a, it's just a solid song. Like it's a song that I, I wouldn't mind just playing and, and rocking to. But like Glitch was like, it was very, it was something very elegant, but specific about it like it was it was very much like i said voguing that vogue uh like i said fashion one way type music um you know model walk practice tutting practice like it was just that type of just elegant vibe um she has like I mean, the only the only correlation I can see between these two MVs is really elegance. Um, she has a specific sound, um, but it's not. I haven't pinpointed it yet. Like it's, I haven't gotten one legit like just like specific vibe that she has, which is 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 a very um, good thing. Um, you know, I've said this about like you know, like Jackson Wang. You know, I can't really get a specific pickup of his specific sound. Um, which just gives me she's versatile you know what I mean she's versatile but she's still everything is under that general retro or futuristic umbrella um, like she's really mixing the retro and futuristic concepts really really well and that's hard to do because I feel like the lines blur constantly with that um, again she looked amazing the wet hair look with the white like one piece with the feathers was crazy the end that beat like pick up at the end i that really drew me in i really honestly think like they could have taken that and made a whole nother song like that was that was fire i wish they would have bought the beat in and like the little glitch part and like softened it out to the outro um but i can understand why they ended off with that because it was so fire probably they probably wanted to really shock the shock the listener and not give them a chance to recover which is what happened to me um but yeah, again, I always love to see these, uh, you know, I always love to see these idols that have been a part of these groups and really gave themselves to a group and, and played their role. I love to see them get their do just desserts as a soloist, you know what I mean? Because that's not a given. Not everybody's going to be able to continue on into music after, you know, parting ways with you know a group so again pleased with what i heard today a glitch is definitely my favorite of the two um and yeah i'll be i definitely gotta uh 
get more into her. Um, like I said, I got to get more into more soloists and, and really expand on the music in that in that uh, sense. So before you guys go, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on. Got a lot of stuff coming your way. And uh, yeah, till next time.